okay, let's look at the first phase and that's architecture vision. Some of the key activities of this phase include is to develop a high level vision to be delivered and to obtain approval of statement of architecture work. So what is statement of architecture work? It is an artifact which contains information like scope of work, resources, roadmap, communication plans and KPI. You can consider architecture work as a project that has budget, scope, resources allocated and KPIs to measure its success. Now let's look at the objective of this phase. There are two objectives. First is to develop a high level aspirational vision of the capabilities and business value to be delivered as a result of proposed enterprise architecture. And second is to obtain approval of statement of architecture work that defines a program of work to develop and deploy the architecture outlined in the architecture vision. So there are two objectives. First is to develop a high level vision that to be delivered and second is to obtain an approval of statement of architecture work. Now let's look at the approach of this phase. Phase A starts with receipt of request of architecture work from the sponsoring organization to the architecture organization. You also define what's in scope and what out scope for this iteration. If you don't determine at this stage what's in scope and what's out of scope, so what could happen is that the scope defined could be too broad and as a result you end up undertaking a massive project to reach your target architecture for the iteration. There will be more issues in the undertaking of architecture work if the architecture capability or the assets architecture capability of the organization is not mature enough. So undertaking a big architecture work on one go or in one iteration could lead project to a failure. So it's very important to define in and out of scope at this stage as to what do you plan to achieve within the iteration or the particular ADM cycle. The next step is to create the architecture vision, which is a key activity in this phase. The architecture vision provides the sponsor with a key tool to sell the benefit of the proposed capability to the stakeholders and decision makers within the enterprise. It describes how the new architecture work and the capability will meet the business goal and strategic objective and how it will address the stakeholders concern when implemented. The architecture vision provides a first cut, high level description of the baseline and the target architecture covering the business data application and technology domains. These outline descriptions are developed in subsequent phases. Next, to go through the business process use cases to dig down on the business requirement. Lastly, I just want to add one more point here that once the architecture vision is defined and documented in statement of architecture work, it is critical to use it to build a consensus. Without this consensus, it is very unlikely that the final architecture will be accepted by the organization as a whole. The consensus is represented by sponsoring organization signing the statement of architecture work. So that's the approach for this phase, that is phase A. Next section we'll look into the steps of architecture vision. Thank you.